Hi everyone, this is a quick video to show you how you begin a wiki project when you're working in either a group or with a partner. So anytime you're working not as your own individual wiki project. I'm going to encourage you to always go in under module one or the module and click on wiki projects because there's often additional information around here that will support you. Here's a description of what you'll need to do within the wiki project. I usually copy and paste this in a Word or other document to the side so I have what I need to do on one side and um, where I'm going to put it over here. So here you have the details again. We're going to go down here. These are the people who started their wiki site. I'm going to start mine. So normally there would be two names here, but here's start my wiki site. So here we go, starting my own class, and I'm sample student, and it says, okay, here's the directions again. Do I want to start work on this wiki project? I sure do. Now, when you're working with a partner, both of you can come in here and work on this. So you're both sort of logged into this same wiki page. How you go about making changes is you want to click on, oops, sorry, edit mode. And here I can change the name of this first page. For this first wiki project, my partner and I have decided to change it to our EL, sorry, let's call it my, meaning the person's name, EL Learner. And I'm going to save that. Now, I can add a page, and this can become my native English speaker. So I'm going to say this is Jason's page. He's the native English speaker. Cool, I'm ready to add my information. I'm going to add a content block. You can see there's a wide variety of what you can add here. For this particular wiki project, on-page text is going to be most helpful to you. Here's another title. They give you lots of titles. I'm just going to put my, the person's name. Here then, I'm going to insert a picture. And when you do that, in case like this you don't see it, you click more and you have a lot of options almost like um, any sort of work email. I'm going to insert a picture. Thanks for your patience. So I clicked on insert an image and here it says on the computer, on the internet, well I have a file on my desktop. And so I'm going to pick my own picture and click choose. Now, when you're using a picture of someone, you can take one off the internet, um, save it to your desktop, and then add it as I'm doing here. Helpful hint. Some of these turn out to be very large. So we want to keep them pretty much between 200 and 300, so I'm going to say 225. It makes it load uh, more easily because it's not quite such a large picture. And here's my picture. It took a minute to come up. Now I'm going to write the text about this person. So this is my person. It sometimes reformats, so let's say you did this in Word and then you copy and paste it in here, it will reformat. As long as it's readable and not totally crazy, please don't spend a lot of time trying to reformat it to be pretty. Much appreciated, but we don't want you to go crazy um, trying to format items. Okay, down at the bottom, make sure you click Save when you're done. Oh great, I put it under Jason, the native English speaker. Okay, so I fixed that. This is my, the EL Learner. Um, so here it is. This picture took a while to load. So because I saw that, here's an Edit button. It says Manage this particular block. I can edit it. I can click on the picture, double click, my image comes up. I'm going to make it smaller because it's tall, it's taller than it is wide. And we're going to save that. Still takes a little while to come up, but you get the idea. There's the picture, there's my text, I'm ready to go. My partner can come in and look at this. I can look at his or hers. Um, we can help each other, we can agree beforehand. You can put this all on one page, whatever it is you'd like to do. Now, when you get ready to do Wiki Project 2 in this particular class, 
you're going to be adding to this. So you're like, well, can I just copy this into my next wiki project? It doesn't allow us to do that, unfortunately. But you can simply copy and paste um, into your next one, just like you did when you originally made this one, and then add to it. So anytime you want to add information or change information, you hit the little tool button or the little circular button, and you can go in and edit and then save. Thank you.